Today we will create this interesting photo manipulation. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun photo manipulation tutorial. Today we will together create this really interesting piece of art and as usual you will learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks and techniques that you can later implement in your own work, in your own projects. And as you can see today I'm wearing this half of the glove on my right hand and I have some new piece of tech here on the table that actually goes really good together with this glove. This thing right here is a display tablet by Huion, it's called Canvas Pro 13 and I got it around two months ago and using it a lot in everyday use, personal projects, etc. So I love this thing a lot and just want to share it with you because I think this is a really good alternative to Wacom Cintiq line and this thing is really affordable, it's less than 400 US dollars. And guys, before I say anything uh, else, I just want to say that this is not a sponsor video. I didn't got paid to say anything about this. So this is just my own opinions, my own experience with this tablet. So this is 13 inch fully laminated screen with uh, anti-glare surface. So it's really good. And it has 120% of sRGB color gamut. Really good. Also guys, it has really nice pen. This is battery free pen, so you don't need to charge it. And it has 8,192 8, levels of pressure sensitivity. Really good and I really enjoy to draw with this pen on the tablet. It's really, really nice experience. Also guys, this tablet is really well designed. As you can see, it's really thin, really nice, well built. And it has practically three in one cable. One cable on this side, it goes straight in the tablet. And on another side, it has three cables one for USB, one for display port and one for AC power adapter and that's it. Just plug and play, install drivers and you're ready to go. So it has also one stand on the side which is really nice so you can uh, change the angles, put it however you want, however you feel comfortable to work and it's really nice and sturdy. It had hold, hold the weight of this tablet really good. So basically this is it, just some basic uh, info of this tablet if you want to know more about it if you want to purchase it you have the links down there in the description right guys guys now without further ado let's jump straight into photoshop and let the fun begin so we will start with this blank piece of paper and as you can see here on the screen we will use several different images to create this interesting piece of art so let's start with uh, with the rocket probably so as you can see this is just a part of a bigger image this is a whole image i will not i will use only the rocket part and I already extracted a lot rocket using a pen tool, as you can see right here. So this is a mask. This is how it looks. Just extracted, just to save time for this tutorial. And I will just copy this and paste it back to our screen. Also, I will just right click and say apply layer mask because I don't need a layer mask. It's already extracted. And right click and convert to smart object because I want to make sure that when I change the size, make it smaller and maybe I want to make it again bigger, I don't lose the quality. So that's smart object is really good choice. Co press Ctrl or Command T, just make it smaller. Maybe like this for now, I'm not sure. We will see later the right size of the rocket and put it somewhere here, that's okay. Now let's go and choose another image. Let's choose for start this cave. And for this, I already extracted this part erase practically create a mask just by using a quick selection tool it's really fast and easy you can use magic one too those two tools are like this for this image all right so i will just copy this and go back to my main image and as you can see we're done let's go home actually no we have a lot of work to do here so i just want to right click and say apply layer mask because i don't need a layer mask here and i want to modify this so Probably this will be somewhere here and this will be about the ground and what I like to do I like to modify this First I want to make a copy. No, actually actually let's do it like this Let's use a marquee a rectangular marquee tool and just select The half of it like like this. Let's make it smaller just half of it and press ctrl or command J to Make a copy of it as you can see now. Let's go back to our original document layer and uh, select another half, press Control command G and that's it. And I will call this left, left and I will call this one right, right part of the cave. And this will be like 
cave. For now, we will do like that. I will hide the cave layer because for now I don't need it. And I will just play with this left and right. Actually, I will switch the places. I will put the left on the right and right on the left. Because just because the lights here, we have a little bit more light and light is coming from this direction right there. So to have more sense, press control command T, right click and just say flip horizontal, then move it here. Press OK. Also same with this. Press Ctrl or Command T, right click, flip horizontal and move it right here. And now we have a problem. We need to rename this. This one is left, but this one is right. Right? Right. Okay. Now we need to play a little bit with these two things. I want to make it lower right here, like here somewhere, not quite sure, maybe here. And also this one somewhere here, but I want to change the shape. So let's, let me show you just, I want to create a new layer, use a white brush. And uh, I just want to use a pen pressure sensitivity on the brush just to show you. So 100% opacity. Ooh, it's really nice. So what I like to do, I like to have something more like, like this like this kind of shape, probably something like this. So everything here, I want to be blank. I don't need this part. So how to do that with these rocks? We can do in several different ways. We can go here, create a layer mask and just with, with maybe bigger brush and maybe harder brush, just with the black color. We can just erase this and, but no, I don't like it. Actually, the best way to do this is to go to liquify. Yeah, let's go to filter, liquid, oops, not vanishing point, liquify. Filter, liquify, and this is it. So I just want to make the brush a little bit bigger and just move everything, move it. I don't care about this part down below because I don't need that part at all. So I just need this maybe like that and just reconfigure this shape right here. So I still maintain this rock feeling, rock shape, but we are just changing the overall shape of this this maybe just to bring back these parts right there so the liquify is really good you can refine this change the shape a lot but be careful don't make like big move like this better do with several small small moves okay and i think this is good for now we can always go back and change so let's press ok and as you can see guys this is much better now I can move it a little bit to the left and also make it smaller if I want. I will see. Let's make it a bit smaller like this and put it somewhere here. Also, I will do that for the right part and I will fast forward this because you already got a point. Okay, so this is it before and after. I really love it. So maybe I can make this even smaller like that and put it somewhere somewhere here. Also, let's go back to the left part. Maybe like this. And of course, we can modify this even more, etc. But now I want to put a layer mask on the left part. Also, I will do that for right. Let's zoom it a little bit. And I just want to actually erase this part right here because I will not need this. We will see later. And with this, I can can go like this and then again to liquify to maybe modify this. We will see. And I will do the same for the right one. Click on layer mask and just, just erase this. I want this to be thinner. And actually I don't need anything. I don't need this either. We will see later how much do we need from this. But for now it is like that. Okay, that's cool. Now guys, let's go and add some background walls of this cave underground. So let's go and find 
let's use this image. I will just copy this image and paste it all the way down below the rocket. So let's let's clean some layers. So let's rename this rocket. Okay, this is cave, and I want to group all three layers and press Control or Command G to create a group, or you can just go down here and press this group icon, but this is faster, so this is cave. Okay, and this is cave wall. And for now it will be a cave wall, but I will probably split this layer too, so let me see. I will press Control or Command T just to make everything smaller. This is way big now. And let me see. This is cool, but I just want to flip it. Right click, flip horizontal. So I like this because this is a brighter wall. I want it on the left side. So we can make this a little bit bigger. Probably something like, like this. Okay, this is nice. And for now I will leave it just here. Also the cave, cave can go a little bit more down maybe like that and the rocket rocket can be maybe a bit bigger so probably much bigger probably something like like this we will see that's why guys i put everything in a smart object actually this rocket in a smart, smart object because now i can freely make it bigger or smaller without losing uh quality of this layer so now I think this is a good size, I will press OK right here and basically this is it. Now we will we'll need to cover this but we will do that later. So let's let's add the upper part just to have overall impression how this will look. So for upper part I will just go and find image that I choose, I like this one. I will just select it and paste it all the way down below the K wall. So here make it smaller because now it's way bigger. Then we need it, so something like this, and probably, probably something. Let's hide this peak. I don't want to be distracted, so probably something like this. I will press OK. So let me see. This looks good. All right. Now everything doesn't look at all like it's uh, one uh, really nice uh, photo, but we will we will make it to look good. So let's go to the cave cave uh, group and reveal the cave layer. We will use just the part of this, just this down part actually, this part down below. Okay, and uh, I will just go and, and do something like this. I will zoom and hide both of those two layers. I will use a lasso tool, press L on the keyboard and just with the lasso tool, I don't need to be so precise at all. I just want to cut out these rocks right here like this and to create a mask so I will now I'm now just pressing on the mask button mask icon right here and that's it so as you can see I'm covering part of the rockets I will bring back those details right there and also I can play with this I can make this a little bit smaller maybe like this put it a little bit more down maybe I can I can just maybe cut out some parts here, maybe I don't like everything here, so I can just use the lasso tool again, just do something like this, cut out and fill with the black, backspace and alt, if the black is foreground color, so you can see the shortcuts on the screen, I just wanna cut out this, this is really cool, and not bad for now, now let's add the part of the ground here, the dirt, on the upper part of the cave so for that I'm using another image this one actually and I'm using a rectangular marquee tool just select this maybe a little bit less like this press ctrl or command c copy it go here press ctrl or command v to paste it all the way above everything I don't want to be in a cave and this this will be named dirt Okay, and now it's too big. I just want to make it smaller like this. Put it somewhere here. Okay, and now obviously it's too wide. What I like to do, I like to create a layer mask and I just want to use a portion 
of this. Let me see. Let's move it to the left a little bit. Expand this a touch like that. And with layer mask and rectangular marquee tool, I will just select this. Okay. And fill with black. That's it. Because I don't want so wide. So I will move this a little bit up like that. And again, go on the mask. And I now just want to erase part of this, this harsh line down below because I don't like to be really straight line and I don't want to be so harsh. So what we can do, we can choose a brush tool. We can just use a regular soft round brush and just erase it like this. But this is not soft. Actually, this is hard like this and just start erasing it like that. And that's working cool too. But how I like to do it, I like to go with my custom cloud dust brushes you know that i love those brushes and in case you don't know how to make yourself you can watch my tutorial about that right here or you can go to my website and purchase this set for just one dollar so the link is down there in the description choose what you whatever you want so let's go right here i will choose first this one actually this one and i really like to use those brushes for a lot of things you'll see later i will use them a lot so maybe like that, then maybe this brush, but change the opacity maybe to 40 or so. Size, change the size a little bit. So I just don't want to have this harsh line. I want to paint back some details right here. Okay. But also I don't need this harsh line right there. Okay. This is really nice. So let me see. Let's unzoom it. And now it's much better than, than without it. We can refine this later a little bit more if we want but for now we leave it like this and i want to refine this upper edge too so i will go on a mask i will go and choose this blur tool and with a bigger brush i just want to change actually blur tool just want to change the size just blur i just want to blur this a little bit this upper strength maybe all the way to 100 percent and just blur the line blur the mask okay now it's much better so we will blend it even more with uh, curves adjustment layer you will see later okay i will now blur the mask and then i will also blur the layer itself you will see this is it then go to the layer and just blur the very top of it just like like this right that's nice so now it's much better it's not so harsh line anymore also guys i really love to work on this display tablet because basically it's like painting on a paper you have everything on a screen painting directly on an image completely different different feeling than just looking on a monitor and painting on uh, using a regular tablet pen tablet so I like it both, but this is this is really nice experience. Now let's go back to the rocket. I want to create a layer mask right here. Use a regular brush, just regular hard brush, just like this. And with the black color, I just want to remove these peaks right here because I don't need them. And this is cool. For now, let's zoom it. I really like it. Also, what I like to do, I want to hide part of this upper part of the rocket so I will just erase like this a little bit more than I needed actually and then I will paint back some details so I will use these rocks as as a border like this and maybe this rock right there and something like this and we will blend this a little bit better later you will see how but for now it's like this and I want to have to have the impression that this is actually a little bit 
far further away from this edge here you will see let's zoom in a little bit as you can see like it's going over there but a little bit further away and also also I just want to just do something like like this maybe to include this rock to let me see how big it is so maybe let's zoom this and let's bring back some details so guys uh, this pen actually is, is uh, supports tilt it's tilt sensitive so you can uh, with certain brush you can tilt the pen differently and use different side of the brushes that's really cool especially for this price range really good pen so let's see not bad okay so this is really nice and cool i really like it and there is a really good option in photoshop 2019 to temporary flip uh, the whole image just to see if everything goes together really nicely because when you're just looking at the image from the same angle same zoom and everything is like the same your brain is uh, getting used to those elements and you're not aware maybe of some things that are not going too good in this image so in this photoshop version you can just go to a view and just go to flip horizontal and you have flipped your image and now maybe you can see your details and how how good everything goes together with a little bit different from a little bit different perspective so i really like to do that and also what i already mentioned in several uh, tutorials ago uh, i like to unzoom everything to see small details and then zoom back and maybe like this to see how everything goes together so this just flipped the image temporary doesn't uh, it doesn't flip the layers etc so i like to go to view and back to flip horizontal now i'm back to my view okay now what we need to do is to play with some details let's let's go first to this ground level and to dirt and i like to go to curves create new curves adjustment layer clip it to affect only that and make everything brighter like this and also i will switch to luminosity blending mode because i don't want to affect color only the luminosity value and go to the mask press ctrl or command i to invert everything and then with really soft brush regular soft brush i just want to go and paint on the top so i will make my brush bigger like this click right here press and hold shift and click right here but also i need to switch to white color and maybe i don't want 100 percent i just want maybe 20 percent opacity so here and here and just click back and forth to make this upper edge a little bit brighter so everything will blend a little bit better all together so this is cool and also down below we can create a new layer curves adjustment layer clip to effect only this layer down below make everything darker probably like this hide this click on the mask and what i like to do i like to invert everything again and with the white just just paint here just make a little bit darker everything because this this part will be darker it's more down below okay this is really really cool also one more thing before i forgot it i will just change the shape of uh, this this divider here of the ground so how to do that really easily i just want to go right here and uh, also i want to select everything and press ctrl or command d this is the destructive way to do it so because i don't want to waste your time a lot i will show you just this select everything press ctrl or command e and group everything in new layer so i have just this line in new layer and then i will just press ctrl or command t okay to go transform then right click and go to warp and then i can just warp it a little bit move it a little bit up here a little bit down etc or i can go to filter liquify and in the liquify i can move this maybe a little bit up this a little bit down just to change change the shape of this part of the image just don't want to be so straight line okay and i will press ok and you will see it's much better before and after i really like it but now i need to move it a little bit up to cover all those details actually i don't need to move it up maybe to move it down like this 
maybe here is too much. Let's go back to the liquify and just like this. Let me see. Yeah, that's much better. And let's go back to the cave and back to the left part. Use a brush, black brush, and just I just want to erase this with 100% opacity. I just don't need this upper part. And also, I just want to erase a little bit harder brush. I just want to erase this. Also here, I don't need all of this. And for, for this one, maybe it's better to use liquify. So I will go to the right one, go to filter and liquify. And I just want to move everything up right here. So if you're not sure how, how much up do you need to move, there is really good option right here that is called show backdrop. So you can show your backdrop and then you can move everything accordingly. That's really cool option. I don't care if I move it more above it because I will erase it. I just want to blend here a little bit better. Like, like this is cool. I will press OK and you will see this is what I was looking for. So I can go right there. Maybe this is it. So really, really nice. Also, maybe I, maybe I don't want this part to be so much in, but doesn't look so bad, but I will just move it a little bit, a little bit to the left and up. So something like that. Press OK. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. And this part right here, I just want to move it a little bit more. Okay, maybe to just, just erase on the mask this part. So this is this is really, really nice, guys. Right, now we need to take care about uh, the rocket uh, hue, and actually not hue, the, the saturation of the rocket, because now it's underground and to be a little less saturated than about the, the ground. So what I like to do, I would like to go to the rocket, create a new group, put a rocket inside the group, rename the group to rocket, of course. And then I want to add hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the rocket and want to desaturate everything. So let's zoom it. Just want to desaturate it like this, a little bit more than I needed. Then let's go to the mask right here and with a black brush, 100% opacity, paint back this part and with 10% opacity, I just want to paint back some parts, this USA flag and a little bit color right here, but not too much because I don't want to colorize. As you can see, this thing is a little bit more yellowish. I don't want to colorize that. Maybe just touch, but not too much. And this is it. This is really cool. Now what I like to do, I like to clone out this part on the rocket, it's bothering me, so let me show you how really easily and quickly you can do that. Let's go select rocket layer, select rectangular marquee tool, and just select this part of the rocket, press Control or Command J, right? And uh, clip to affect only the rocket. So now we have duplicated this part. Right now I'll move it up right here and just create a mask on that part too and with really soft brush, really soft brush and maybe 10 or 20% opacity, I will just blend it, blend it together with the rocket. Maybe make it a little bit bigger brush as you can see. Now we are really nicely blending it back. That's cool, maybe 20% just to make the process faster. And right here too. So. We are blending this back. This is really nice. And I will use the same layer to clone this part too. But I want to clone only this part. I don't want to affect the rocket. I don't want to affect this left side. So I will use the lasso tool. And what I like to do, I like to, oops, I like to select only this part because I want to play only with this part. Go with the 
stamp tool, sample the edge right here, and just paint with the edge right there. So now I'm only affecting the inner part, deselect by pressing Ctrl Command D. That's it, guys. So simple and easy. Okay, now let's go and deal with uh, the cave wall. So let's go to the cave right here, create new hue and saturation adjustment layer, go out of the group and clip to affect the whole group. And I just want to desaturate the cave a little bit like this. And also I will do that for the cave wall down below. So hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip to affect only that and desaturate that too. And I want to make the cave wall a little bit darker. So maybe let's use brightness adjustment layer and make, make it a little bit darker like that. And maybe just boost a little bit more saturation. And also guys, what I like to do, let me show you one really cool trick. I don't like too much this, this wall right here. So I like this one and uh, I will go right here. And also, yeah, I will use curves adjustment layer. I will go all about here, clip it to effect only that. And I will add a little bit more contrast to the walls and I will duplicate the right wall by pressing control or command J and press control command T right click, flip it horizontal. Okay. Like this and put it right here somewhere. And I need to move it about the left one. Okay. Something like this, but I don't want to have exactly to exactly the same side of the cave. So I will just clip it to affect only the left one to have the shape of the left one. And now I will cover it with the black layer mask. And now we'll use a brush, really soft brush with 20% or 40% opacity. You need to experiment. And I will just paint with a white color here. So to blend this type of a wall back here. Now, now it's something that I like better. So I'm blending the texture of the right wall on the left one right here. So I'm getting something a little bit new. Maybe I want to move it to the right like this. And then again, oops, then again with the brush, just blend it back. So that's really cool, but maybe I did it too much right here. So, so you just need to experiment to paint back and forth and to see what are you getting, what do you like, what do you don't like, etc. So this is much better. I really like this. So you can see they're not identical left and right side, but they're more uh, familiar than it was like this, this is too much for me. So this is a really nice trick for you to know how to blend everything together. Also, I will show you how I will just make everything darker down below because now it's, it's too bright. All right now let's go and deal with the rocket. I will go to the rocket and use, let's use brightness adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the rocket and lower the brightness. As you can see, I'm lowering the brightness, but I'm, bringing back some saturation. So I'll put this into luminosity just to have a better overall look. And what I like to do right here, I want to invert the brightness adjustment layer and with a really soft brush, actually 10% opacity, white color. I just want to paint back white color. Okay. I just want to paint back here. And with this, I'm actually killing out this highlights a little bit. Just want a little bit to be dark, a little bit darker, not too much, but just want to kill these bright highlights. Like this. Just a little bit. Okay. And let me show you Bef whoops, not that beef, beef before and after before and after. This is something that I really, really like. Also guys, now we will add some dirt to the rocket. We will weather the rocket a little bit and uh, paint some, some colors, actually some uh, lightness back and forth and add a little bit uh, more details, add the cowboy bow and basically we are done. So if you're not familiar how to weather things, I have a really great tutorial about that. You can find it on a link right here. Check it out. It's more detailed here. I will just go quickly, uh, quickly through that process. All right, guys. So let's weather this rocket. First, what I like to do 
is to go and choose another image. And this time I will use this texture right here. This is some, some old wall or I don't know, maybe it's even the tree, but I don't care whatever it is, it will work great here. So I'll just paste it right there, clip it to affect only the rocket down below. So to clip two layers, uh, you just need to press and hold Alt and click in between two layers, All right? This is it. I will move it down and press Control Command T, rotate it and uh, adjust it something like this. Press OK and now I'll create a black layer mask. To create a black layer mask, you just need to press on the mask by holding Alt or Option key and that's it. And now I will use my cloud brush, this one, and I will just paint back some details. And also because this is white, you will see I will put this into multiply blending mode and now it's much better. Now we have really nice details right there. So I just want to weather this. I want to add like it's a little bit older. It's underground. Maybe I want to make a brush bigger. I want to weather this part. And because of the time for this tutorial, I'm a little bit rushing, but you can see my final image, my final result, my Instagram account, so you can check it out. I will probably add some more details, who knows, and post it there too. Okay, so this is it. Maybe something over there. I don't want to add all over the place, not like that, but just some small details. All right, this is cool. And also I will create a new layer. Again, clip it to affect only the layers down below. I will name it a dirt. Okay, and uh, I will use my weather brush for that. So let's find it here Nemanja's weather brush and i will maybe use this one let me see yeah this one is cool so i will use i will press f5 just to adjust some properties just want to change the size and the angle and just scatter it a little bit and to go with the spacing a little bit that's it so this is it and also i want to choose a color so i want to choose a darker color maybe this one right here i'm holding alt or option key while I'm in the brush and sample that color and put this layer into multiply blending mode. Make the brush much dark, uh, smaller and with maybe 10% opacity, I just want to paint some, some dirt right here. Okay. Like, like it's dirty underground. Of course, I am advising you to spend even more time on everything here because you will make everything much better if you pay some um, if you if you spend some time uh, tweaking these, those details, pay attention to details. But I'm now doing this a little bit more quicker. Also, guys, I'm one tip for this is to always unzoom, see how it looks, and then work on the smaller version too. So, so this is it. We'll just leave it something like this. If I don't like something, I can always go with a layer mask with a black color. Just paint out some things like this because I think this is too much right here. And this is basically it. Also. Another trick is that you can find something like this, some texture like, like this and paste it again right there, clip it to affect only the rocket and make it a lot smaller because now it's too big. Put it somewhere down below and maybe like that and then create black layer mask. And I like to use my weather brush or even cloud brush, cloud dust brush and just paint back some details like mud or something like dirt, different type of dirt right there. And we can make it darker, play with that too. So just a quick tip. I will not 
do too much of that because as I already said because of time's sake but as you can see really small details it's really nice and I really love to work with this tablet guys it's really really cool I'm drawing drawing on the surface so this is cool also I can go with uh, curves adjustment layer make everything darker clip to effect only the rocket like that invert it okay and just then paint on this dirt right there just make this darker and part of the rocket down part of the rocket darker too so it's really cool also we can go right here press ctrl or command u and just desaturate not too much but something like this and maybe make it darker okay this is the destructive way but for this is really cool right so we are almost done with uh, this part uh, underground you can of course add so many details in that underground part whatever you want just be creative and uh, do something else add even more details than i and then i did here in this tutorial and uh, you will have even more awesome image so i just want to play with uh, this part right here with these bright parts of the rocks i will go back to the actually this is all the way, way up here on the cave i will create new layer just clip it to affect this one and choose some dark color maybe maybe even this dark black something something like this and what i want to do i just want to paint over it just like this as you can see i'm just painting here this is on from the other part so i'm just painting to make this darker removing basically i'm removing highlights this is it i don't want so many highlights here Okay, so this is good and let's go back right here on the cave. Actually, I, I could do this right here. So clip to affect the group, the whole group, and then I can paint on everything. I do not need to create separate layers for, for everything. So this is really, really nice. This is what I'm liking. Also, uh, where is concentration adjustment layer? Yeah, I can, I can create a new one. You will see why. New one and desaturate it even more yeah even more and make everything darker but this time i want to move it down below to cave back so because of that i can invert it and i can just paint with the same brush because i really love this weather brush you can paint on this wall right there and maybe a little bit here so this is this is really cool right guys now let's add our cowboy on the scene this is it i already extracted him as you can see the mask and everything you can use uh, for this uh, quick selection tool and just then refine the edges and do your extraction with that in case you're not familiar how to select anything in photoshop and later extract it you can watch my tutorial about that right here so i will just paste the cowboy right there rename it rename the layer cowboy but actually he is riding a horse not a cow but never mind okay and i will make it a lot smaller so i will put it somewhere here and even smaller maybe even smaller like this let me see let's zoom it uh it's okay so i will move it below this this dirt i didn't rename this and let me see he needs to be somewhere here maybe somewhere here it's going towards this he doesn't know whatever this is he doesn't know what is it so going toward that and of course he's not too saturated so i will create hue adjustment layer clip to affect only cowboy and should desaturate it a little bit and then go and desaturate it reds because of course it's too saturated maybe a little bit of the yellows too so yeah a little bit of the yellows and now it's it's good maybe a little bit back like that and what we can do we can add some dust here it, it can be really cool so i'll create new layer so dust 
And for this, guys, I will use my favorite brushes, my set of cloud, smoke, here it is, brushes. So I will use this one. And I will clip the, this color for a start and also make a brush smaller and just slowly build some dust right there. You will see I'm just building slowly part of dust. Then just clip, uh, actually choose another color, darker color, a lot darker, maybe like, maybe like this. Okay. And add even more smoke. Okay. Then some bright color, maybe even white and change the brush size a little bit. So you can see This is really cool. So he is riding and the horse is making a dust. I really like that. Here a little bit darker color on the ground. And this is something that you need to spend a little bit more time building this, but it's pretty decent. So yeah, without, with that, I love it. Also, I have some dust down below. I don't, I don't need it. Actually, I will raise it, and that's it. Also, let's let's spend a little bit more time on this peak of the rocket to to blend it a little bit better with uh, the surface. So, where is the rocket? Here is the rocket. Also, one really cool trick that I like to use here. Actually, it's a tip that I like to use uh, with layers. Right click and choose the color, maybe orange for the rocket because I have orange peak here. So now, when I'm finding something, I can really easily find a rocket. Then I can go on the rocket itself, right here. Okay, that's cool. And what I can do, actually I can go right here on the rocket uh, group and create mask and just with this smoke cloud brush and the black color, I can just, just blend this a little bit better, make it smaller. Just paint all around this. I will fast forward this, guys, because you know, you got a point. Also, what I like to do here is to change to use this brush because this one will make like more rocky shapes. Not like Rocky Balboa, but rock, rocky shapes. Okay. And then to use this one and to blend it maybe with 20%, just blend it a little bit more right there so we can spend a little bit more time here but i will stop right now i don't want to waste your time but as you can see it's much better and also we can add some shadowing here so we can go to the background layer here use curves adjustment layer clip it to affect only that make everything darker right and just with regular soft brush right there. I just want to make brush bigger white color and just make this thing, this thing darker a little bit, right? Because it, it can be some shadow from, from this guy right there. Okay, so this is it for now. We can spend again a little bit more time tweaking this here and there, but let's leave it like this. And now let's unzoom it and let's see. So this is really nice. Also, we can go on the rocket and just dodge and burn a little bit more overall rocket down below. So I will create curves adjustment layer and make it darker like this put it in luminosity blending mode, call it burn, B for burn, right, invert the mask, control or command I, and just with a really nice soft cloud dust brush, I just want to paint back some shadows down below here. Okay, because this will be much darker, maybe like this 20% opacity and just pain back let me see yeah like that right some shadows here and there 
and down below this is it right guys and now we can we can add even more details of course we can do a lot of things here but i will stop here i will merge everything together into one layer and do a final color correction so we can go all the way up and i i don't think that i forgot something important here maybe maybe just like this maybe maybe let's go before that let's go right there curves adjustment layer to affect only the wall of the cave i just want to make it darker invert it and i just want to dodge a little bit more this part of the cave nothing special but just a little bit of that and yeah let me see before after yeah now it's now it's cool okay now we can go all the way up and press shift control out or shift command option e on a mac to merge everything together i can go right click and convert to smart object you will see why is this advantage you can do that now let's go to filter camera row filter and now we can play with some color correction so what i like to do i like to go to this calibration tab and just just to change colors a little bit just a touch okay we can play with the greens but will not affect will affect reds okay something like like this also I can go and add a little bit of vignette and then we go right here I want to play with the hue this a little bit more towards the reds not too much but just a bit and also I want to play with saturation so maybe to desaturate blues or actually aquas and leave the blues I don't want to saturate the sky for this type of image so I want a little bit more subtle uh, colors so let's see maybe to brighten the sky touch this is cool and also yeah also here we can Mm, doesn't affect too much okay this is it then i can go to sharp a little bit everything so boost the sharpening lower the radius if you press and hold ultra option key you will hear you will see the radius of sharpening and also if you press and hold ultra option key and choose the mask option you can see now everything will be sharpened and now everything that is white will be sharpened so i just want to limit the sharpening to something like that okay and then we can go to split toning effect. I want to add a little bit more bluish color to the shadows. And as you can see, if I move this towards the whites, I will narrow the effect to the shadows. So it will only affect the darkest point, uh, parts of the image. So this is what I want. Just a touch down below. Okay, and let's go here. Add a little bit more contrast. Open the shadows a little bit, not too much, and add a clarity. To add a punch to the image maybe blacks maybe we can haze it or dehaze it and ah, dehaze it is not so i will leave it like this maybe not so much contrast also we can go to the curves and change the points and add one point here one here and just move this if you want to have this faded effect this is the option if you want to have this kind of look but for this image I don't want this faded effect, so I don't want that. And I will press OK. And now let me show you why I put this in the smart object. Because now, OK, you're satisfied. Let me see before and after. Really cool. But maybe you want to change something. You just need to double click on camera row filter. You're back with the same settings. Now you can maybe change the white balance, maybe more towards the, the yellows, maybe a little bit more green or actually the, the, the yeah yellows and greens. And this is it. Maybe you want to add this gradient filter down below, so something like that. And to go to lower the shadows, make it down a little bit darker. Maybe add the radial filter to to say I want maybe to brighten the inside here a little bit. Press OK. So OK. Now it's maybe better. So before and after, before and after. Or if you don't like it. You can go again back to that and just just move some sliders play with colors do whatever you want and you will get the final result you can always switch forth back and forth so this is it guys this is the final image i hope that you like it you saw a lot of interesting tips and tricks right here 
and uh, I hope that you learn some really nice and useful stuff from this fun photo manipulation tutorial. Also guys, this tablet is really good. I need to say that one more time because I really love it for especially for the price of uh, less than 400 US dollars. Again, links are down there in the description if you want to purchase it or see more about that. You can find a lot of reviews online. I will not review like uh, a classical review of the tablet. You just saw how the tablet is uh, behaving when I'm drawing. I really love the pen pressure sensitivity. The strokes are really nice and easy to draw. The parallax is really good. So overall, really, really good tablet. Uh, only thing that I would like a little bit better is that I have a little bit uh, bigger tablet to work with, but for this price range, this is this is really, really good. Also, guys, if you have any questions regarding to this episode, you can ask me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. And if you like this episode, if you appreciate this content, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And also ring that bell icon down below to be notified about all the future episodes. And also guys, if you want to help me, to support me, to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And uh, also you will get some things in return, like these PSD files, etc. Have fun, experiment, and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.